It's Tuesday, August 18th. Welcome aboard to this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining us. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website. You can check them out at www.town.barnstable.ma.us. Titleist? It's a title. Very nice. It's only appropriate as we are here right now on what was at one time a vacant lot. Over the summer, for the past month or so, it turned into strokes of genius, a volunteer-fueled effort to benefit the Barnstable Education Foundation. The cleanup of the Strokes of Genius golf course took place yesterday after it started on July 18th. And as mentioned, this was a barren golf vac excuse me, this was a barren vacant lot. However, volunteers stepped up, the community came together, and they created this nine-hole mini golf course to benefit the Education Foundation. As mentioned, over the weekend, they played their last nine holes here, and now they're cleaning it up. We will, of course, have more information and a more in-depth interview just on the Barnstable Education Foundation and the benefits that came from this later on in the weeks and months ahead. We also interviewed Bob Breald on Monday to talk about a number of different issues. He touched on a number of subjects, including the new terminal building, the uh, success of the airport as a driver of uh, the economy here in the town. He was quite busy when Vice President Joe Biden came into town to uh, go to the Kennedy Memorial Service here just this past week. And not only uh, Vice President Joe Biden, but a number of celebrities came in, and he said that he was very busy with the private jets that came into town. Uh, it was also quite a run-through for him as President Obama looks to uh, go to uh, Martha's Vineyard next week and uh, he's possibly scheduling a visit to the Kennedy compound so uh, Bud will certainly be busy over the next coming days. And it's not just Bud Breald in the airport that's going to be very busy of course as well. Barnstable Police is readying uh, a possible visit from uh, President Obama sometime next week when he takes his vacation over on Martha's Vineyard. It is expected as Kevin mentioned a moment ago that the President is going to spend a few hours over at the compound with Senator Ted Kennedy. Community Preservation Committee met on Monday. Now, there was something interesting that went on during the public comment period before the meeting. An interesting point from Marston's Mills resident Bob Frazee, who was concerned about ongoing proposals and limited CPC funds. Uh, I just have one quick comment, and that uh, stems from uh, my attendance at a Barnstable Historical Commission meeting uh, last week, in which there was a brief discussion about CB, uh, CPA and CPC related topics which have historic um, content. And there was some concern expressed at the time that perhaps uh, this group is considering curtailing some of its expenditures for historic preservation funds in deference to other projects. And I, I understand why that might, that might be necessary. I also understand that funding overall is diminishing in the present economy. But I want to mention on behalf of several projects that you funded earlier for conditions assessments, several of which are even town-owned, Burgess House, Fraser Museum, um, Old Selectman's Building, for three, for examples, that the uh, firm from Boston is presently on those sites periodically working on these assessments. And it would be really unfortunate if we find out what our list of projects and priorities and potential budgets are to be about the same time you decide that funding isn't available any longer. It's been a long process. I think I first brought Burgess House to you and actually maybe even to the council before you had formed your committee in 2005, and it's 2009 now. We're sort of four years in the pipeline, which is extreme, and it's, it's, it's an uh, oddball example possibly, but I know it tends to be a drawn-out process more than any of you or any of us anticipate sometimes. And I just hope you'll keep in the back of your minds while you're deliberating that kind of subject the, the needs that there are for some projects that are underway to actually be able to put some boots on the ground and do some good rather than simply have marching orders. Okay, thanks very much. Now, after public comment, the board also discussed a proposed affordable rental development to be placed on Stagecoach Road. Sandra Perry of the Barnstable Housing Authority went before the group. Now, she explained the request for $350,000 in Community Preservation Act funding. The board did discuss this issue, and during this debate and during this discussion, I want to remind you, of course, they weren't deciding on approval of the grant, simply to approve taking the next step. Um, the development is planned for 70 Stagecoach Road in Centerville. We actually have a contiguous parcel at 151 Oak. So we have a total of 6.84 acres of property. Um, less than 30% is planned for development. We will put the remaining property into a conservation restriction. 
We're trying to keep this development small in keeping with the neighborhood. We've tried to be very considerate of the neighborhood in planning three buildings with um, one and two bedroom units. So the development will serve small families and individuals. Um, I'm here today to answer any questions you may have with respect to the project. Just to remind members, this is to approve the letter of intent. We've missed a couple of meetings for lack of a quorum, so this is merely approving it to go to the next step. Questions? Terry. I have one. Uh, is, what, what is the neighborhood around that? Is it, is it uh, single family? It's, it's residential, it's, correct? It's residential, single family homes, some are rental, some are ownership. I have one other follow-up. Right, Do we know right um, the feeling of the abutters uh, on that? Um, we have had one informal meeting. Um, the abutters are not happy about the development. Um, we certainly will go through that process with the abutters when we go through the ZBA hearings and procedures. Anyone else? No? I think you just answered this, but how many units is it? It's 12 units, and it will be for families and individuals at 60% and below the area median income. Anyone else? Go Another ahead. question, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the the amount that you're requesting mm -hmm. uh, is what's the combination of funding? That's What percentage of funding uh, is the CPA contribution on um, The CPA contribution, um, I can't tell you the percentage. The project is estimated to cost $2.8 million. Um, some of the funding will come from Mass Housing Partnership. Some will come from DHCD, um, their small rental development funding program. Um, we certainly will be seeking um, funding from the county home program as well. Um, we have a total of $440,000 is planned for the public equity portion of, um, of the budget, and it will help subsidize the project so that we can help people below 60% of the area median income. Great. So it would be about 16% of the funding. Thank you. Any other questions? Sue, you got any, anybody sensing a motion to move this forward? I would like to make a motion that we uh, move this into uh, application. If a second. Could. Further discussion on moving this uh, letter of intent to application? Seeing none, all members signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That's unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you. So as you saw, the Community Preservation Committee sends that request along to the next step. Now let's take a look at the meetings that are coming up this week. No. The Airport Commission has a meeting at 6 p.m. at the airport. A Conservation Commission hearing set for 6.30 at the hearing room in Town Hall on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, August 19th, the amnesty hearings for the Accessory Affordable Apartment Program take place at 6 p.m. in the Town Hall hearing room. The Zoning Board of Appeals hearing takes place at 7 o'clock in the hearing room at Town Hall. The Highness Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission meets at 7 o'clock in the Selectman's Conference Room. And the Shellfish Committee meeting takes place place at 7.30 at the MEA conference room over on Finney's Lane. And again, all of those meetings can be found right here on the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. Titles? Titles. Kevin Freo, I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining and continue to try to hit him straight. This was a challenging golf course. Did you know that? <laughs> I bet you slayed it.